What's up guys, been here from the Cultured Kiwi. So, I'm sick of sitting at home and, and editing photos for tonight. And what I've done, it's about 10 o'clock uh, over here in London and I've decided to just go out for a walk and just try and get one photo. But I'm gonna take you through the whole process. I'm gonna take you from finding the photo to taking the photo and editing the photo and posting the photo. So, sort of all the steps for now. Um, we'll look at printing a bit later. But um, I saw this one the other day when I was out running. So, I'll show you when I get there. Hopefully it looks as good as it did the other day. <laughs> all right, see you on the other side. So this apartment building here will be the subject for my photo. It really looks awesome at night time. There's a lot of Christmas lights and everything going on. But at the moment I'm in this dark field, you can't quite see it. You can also just make out some stars up there, which I don't know if you can quite see them in the camera, but the London lights definitely block a lot of that out. But this isn't the best place to see it. What I saw the other day, and this is what I want to promote, is that when you're out walking during the day, you just keep an eye out for good looking images. And what I saw when I was running was this. See, it's the same shot, but with some foreground interest. Even this little swan here, he's hanging out and enjoying himself. So why not? Let's see what I can do here. What I do at the start is leave the ISO high and start just taking photos. So it doesn't take too long to see what you get. And to be honest, from here I don't really like the composition. So I'm going to move around. Oh, I've got to look out for bikes. <laughs> the dangers of night photography. Okay, so now I've set it up. I've got a shot I like. Nice reflections here. Nice balance. There's a boat over here, which looks cool. There's actually a swan down here at the moment, but I don't know how long he'll stay there for. So I'm down to ISO 200. 30 seconds, f6.3, I'll set it to 2 second, 2 second timer, and manual focus, and let's see what happens. Alright, I'm locking this, what I'm going to do, just to seal the deal, is to take one with a higher ISO, and one uh, with a higher f-stop just to fill in all the detail in the shadows here and another one uh, which is the higher ISO but it'll blow out the building and I'll take one at a 100 slightly lower exposure just to get all the detail in these windows here that are blown out if you look at the histogram you can see, well you can't quite see there but I can see it on the screen some of the um, lights in the windows are blinking indicating a bit of overexposure so I'll try again. So here now, I've got a complete set. I've got one that's very overexposed, but I'll be able to draw in the detail from the sky here and the detail in these shadows of the boat, etc. The grass down in the front. I've got one where I've got all the detail in all the windows there. And I've got one that's sort of medium exposed. Maybe I can get enough out of this one, but at least I've got the options to have the other two as well. Now, so often is the case uh, when you go out to take a photo, is that what you set out to take a photo of <laughs> doesn't end up to be the photo uh, that you end up taking. And what I've seen here is a view down the canal. Uh, and you can see the stars in the background there. You see the stars? And they're reflecting in the water here really nicely. Plus there's this curve um, with the road. So I've set up this vertical shot here um, with the path down here on the on the left and the stars reflecting in the water and the boats on the right. Um, I've got the ISO set wide open to get as much detail in, in the stars that I can at 3600. 
3200 ISO and what I've done now is um, blown it out so now I know where the limit is but you can see there's some nice movement in the water here but what I'm going to do is work backwards from there uh, in order to capture as much detail as I can before we blow out the the stars from the city lights <laughs> but you see photographing the stars in London that's quite often what you end up with so now I've stepped down the aperture stepped down the exposure time I've got it at 1600 ISO and we're blowing out the trees the trees over here this is all blown out but we're getting all the detail in the sky which is what we want so for now I'll work with that and see what we can get come down a little bit more maybe luring back the swans with grass lure them back see if they come oh they're coming it's working get the swans in Now we've got the swans in there. Now there's a couple of cyclists coming, so quickly, quickly drop the ISO back down. 1600. Get this back up to 67. And get it with these guys. See what happens here. Okay. Got the swans down here, got the cyclists coming in over here. Burnt out a little bit, but I think it looks quite cool now. So now these are starting to look really nice with the swans. Got one with the cyclists here coming through. So we've got that as a bit of a. Um, I can add that in to another photo, one of these other ones if I so choose um, but I've got a great spectrum of shots there coming right up to the sky plenty of detail all together we've got everything we need I think I think I've got all I needed from, from those first shots it looks really good uh, in the camera but um, you never know until we get back and look at it on a bigger screen um, but th that's the case often when I set out to take photos you never end up taking a photo of what you thought well sometimes you do sometimes